Okay, in this video I'd like to demonstrate the interpolation routine used by the uh, Inch computer. Uh, I know me and Buzzard were discussing that a few days ago and uh, kind of show you how it works here now that I can. Uh, right now we're data logging the final value from the first ignition map. This is in raw hex and the value is in raw hex. I don't have a way to calculate it right now. And I also made the map in raw hex so that I could show you the comparison. It makes things a lot easier. I can show you here. All we've got to do is click one thing and there's our ignition map. So let's uh, go back to raw hex here. I also have, which is totally separate, I want to make sure that make sure you guys know there's two separate things going on here. I've got an emulator with a trace feature here and then I've got a serial port data logger over here. Okay, so basically right now you see it's bouncing around from 8C to 8C and it's at very it's at low load and 1700 to 1500 rpm and you can see the value on the on the port on the uh on the uh, uh the, the ignition map is at 8c and let's increase the load a little bit here you can see as we move over the value is let's see it's bouncing between 8.6 and 7c and the value is at 8.2 uh, let's increase it some more here. We'll bring it right up to the edge of this. I intentionally put this uh, off-kilter value in the middle of the map here to show you what happens. Um, right now it's bouncing between 7.6 and 7.2 and the value is at 7.4 and if we bring it right on the edge here of 7.2 and 0, 0, the averages it averages it out. It, it, so it's averaging at 5C. And if we go a little further into right into the middle of that zero, you see we've got a zero value. So again, let's just increase this to show you kind of what's going on here. I'm going to move the, the the map sensor up very slowly. And you can see as we move it up, there is definitely some averaging taking place, and the averaging is on a linear scale. All right, thanks for watching.